I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website globalmathinstitute.com. In this video, we have taken a very important question from previous test paper, which is based on modeling with sinusoidal functions. The question here is, a person's blood pressure at rest is given by the function p of t equals to 100 plus 20 sine 60, where p is in millimeter of mercury and t is in seconds. You need to find the heart rate, what is the maximum and the minimum values of pressure, how will the function change if the person was running or was sleeping. Second question is based on the same concept. However, this time we are considering the pulse rate as a cosine wave. So now the question is, the function p of t equals to 100 minus 20 cos 5 pi by 3t models the blood pressure where p is in millimeters of mercury and t is in seconds for a person at rest. We need to find the period of the function, what does the period represents, how many times does the person's heart beat each minute, and you need to sketch the graph. I hope the question is absolutely clear. You may pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. In case you want to learn from me, you can always send an email on the address given here. Now let us see how should we solve these questions. One important thing which you must have considered here is that we have taken both sine and cosine functions into consideration for the same application, which clearly indicates that it can be done so and any periodic function can be written as, in general, a sinusoidal function in sine or in cosine. So I hope the questions are clear. You need to work in radians, right? So work in radians and find your solution. Here is the solution for the first question. A person's blood pressure at rest is given by the function p of t equals to 100 plus 20 sine 60, where p is in millimeters of mercury and t is in seconds. Find the heart rate. What are the maximum and the minimum values of pressure? How will the function change if the pressure was, if the person was running? or was sleeping. So these are the three parts of this particular question. So let's begin with the function itself, which is pulse rate is given to us as 100 plus 20 sine of 60. Since we need to find the heart rate, let's find the time period, which should be related with this value C which is 6, right? The k value 6. So the time period t can be written as equal to 2 pi by 6, which is pi by 3. And we can find this value using the calculator. So let's calculate this value. Pi divided by 3 is approximately equal to 1.05. So I'm rounding it to two decimal places. So that becomes the time of one pulse. One pulse means what? Let me sketch since that is also uh, a part of this question which we should think about. So we're saying that P of T is 100 plus 20 sine 60. So let me sketch this sine wave. It will be like this, right? This goes up 
comes down and this is one pulse. So, we have just figured out that time for one particular wave, let's say this is zero. In that case, this will end as 1.05. So, that is the time period. To find the heart rate, heart rate is normally measured in pulses per minute. Now, one pulse takes 1.05 seconds, right? So, in one second, how many pulses will be there? That is what you need to figure out, correct? So, we are saying one pulse takes so many seconds. So, in one second, there will be 1 divided by 1.05 pulses, right? And 1 minute is 60 seconds. So, 60 seconds, there will be how many? It will be 1 divided by 1.05 times 60. So, the pulse rate is approximately 57 in this particular case. So, I hope with this you understand how do we calculate the heart rate. It corresponds to number of beats per minute. We can say beats per minute. Right? Now, let's look into the second part, which is what are the maximum and the minimum values of pressure? Well, the average value is given to you as 100. So, so this is 100 for you. Maximum being amplitude being 20. So, we add 20. So, we get 120. And when you take away 20, you get 80. So, it is between 80 to 120. So, the maximum value is equal to the average of 100 plus 20, which is the amplitude, gives you 120 millimeters of mercury. That is the unit. And the minimum value is going to be 100 minus 20, which is 80 millimeters of mercury. Correct? So, that answers part 2. 3. How will the function change if the pressure, if the person was running? If the person was running, the pulse rate will be higher. So, it will be like more beats within the given interval of time. So, the k value will be higher. So, it will be, if it is running, in that case, what do you expect? We expect the value to be slightly greater than 6, right? So, because we expect more pulses within this time of one second. You get the idea, right? So, in running, it will be slightly, I should write 6 plus for 60, right? So, it will be like, we could say that the function will be 100 plus 20 sign of 6 plus t, right? Something more than 6. But if the person is sleeping, in that case, it will be slightly lower than 6, the k value. So, basically, the k value will change, right? So, it will be 100 plus 20 sign of 6, some value lower than 6 t. So, that is what I am trying to say when we write, let's say we can say 5.9 or 6.1, something like this, right? So, that is how the pulse rate is going to change when the person is running or when the person is sleeping. So, I hope that part is absolutely clear. Now, let's look into question number two, which is very similar to the first example which we have done. 
So I'd like you to now pause the video and answer this particular question. This time, we are given the pulse rate in terms of cosine function. It is 100 minus 20 cos of 5 pi by 3 t. Pressure being measured in millimeters of mercury and time in seconds when the person is at rest. That is the equation. Find the per period of the function. So again, period will be time period t will be 2 pi by 5 pi by 3, which is pi and pi will cancel. So we have 2 times 3, 6, 6 over 5. which is 1.2. So time for one wave will be 1.2 seconds. Find the period of the function. What does the period represents? So period represents the time taken by one pulse, right? So time for one pulse. Which we have seen one pulse means one hard beat. So it is a period for hard beat. So the second hard beat will be after 1.2 seconds. That's what it really means, right? How many times does the person's heart beat each minute? So, so that we can now figure out we know time for one beat is 1.2 seconds, right? So we have to find number of heartbeats. So we can write this as 1.2 seconds gives one heartbeat. One second will be one divided by 1.2 heartbeats. Correct? In one minute, one minute means 60 seconds, correct? Will be what? So 1 divided by 1.2 times 60. So let's find this out. 60 divided by 1.2 gives us 50. So in this case, from the given equation, how many times does person's heart beat each minute? So it is... 50 beats per minute. Is that clear to you? So divide time period by 1 by time period, right? And multiply by 60 gives you the number of hard beats per minute. Clear? Now we need to sketch the graph of this function. Well, I'll make an approximate sketch here. We're looking at the cosine function, right? So let's see. The equation given to us is P of T is equal to 100 minus 20 cos of 5 pi by 3 T, correct? So that is the equation. Since it is a cosine wave and we have minus 20 here, it means starts from the bottom in this particular case, correct? So let me just show one cycle. You can repeat that particular cycle to sketch more. So 100 is the average value. So let me draw here 100. Let's say this is 100 for us. Maximum, it will go to 20. So that is 20 more and 20 less. Clear? Since we are beginning, with minus means the lowest point, right? So one period will be will go like this. These are our five points which we can join. So with the cosine function and could repeat, correct? So that becomes one heartbeat where it starts with zero. We worked out the time period to be 1.2, the scale time in seconds, 
and this is in millimeters of mercury. Is that clear to you? So that is how you could actually sketch one sine wave, cosine wave in this case you can say, where this value is 100, 120 is the maximum, and 80 is the minimum. Right. So the blood pressure is between 80 to 120, and time period is 1.2, which gives us 50 beats per minute. Right? Is that clear to you? So that is how we can actually represent the uh, heart rate or the pulse given by the given by this particular equation, which is now a cosine function. So what you saw here is that the heartbeat is regular, and therefore it can be easily modeled using sinusoidal functions. Sinusoidal functions means sine or cosine, as shown here. I hope that makes sense. Feel free to write your comments, share your views, and in case you want to learn from me, you can always send an email on the address given. Check our website for new updates. Thanks for your time and all the best.